so guys welcome back to the channel and today i have the four conic wireless water resistant shower speaker now you can find us at five below I believe the price tag was seven dollars before taxes might differ if they have some type of sale in the clearance section but this is being sold with the regular bluetooth product so far so we have ipx4 built-in microphones so you can make calls from it and whatnot stream from other devices be it a steam deck a uh, nintendo switch because it is bluetooth compatible and we will actually test it on a steam deck with a gain to see how well it keeps up with the sound uh, you do have a strong suction which i will be honest with you i have already used the speaker um previously before i reviewed it on this channel so i already have an idea how it's going to be and we're just going to kind of go through those steps also more importantly the parts that actually matter this is bluetooth 5.3 so you get about 30 feet roughly for the distance of Bluetooth. That's from vertically, not necessarily vertically. That's uh, <laughs> if you're on the same floor, it may differ if you're going up and down the stairs to basements and things like that. Just keep that in mind. You do have a two hour charge time and then you have a three to four hour battery life. And that depends on if you're using it above 70% and that, and that tends to drain a battery a little bit faster. But anywho, with that being said, let's unbox this together and see if this is actually worth purchasing. So for the guys that are new to the channel, welcome. For my regulars, welcome back. Uh, what I'm probably going to start doing is posting the timestamps in the text methods, text methods, the messages symbol. I'll pin it to the top so that you guys can make your life a little bit easier. Some people go to the description. Some people don't. So I'll try to do both moving forward. Anywho, this is the speaker right here. So there's nothing else inside the box. Let's take a look. Actually, let's take a look at the other stuff first. This right here is the USB-C cable to USB-A. So you could just use a typical regular charger cable. You can plug it up to a PC, wall adapter, laptop, whatever it is that you want to do. Just keep in mind that if you plug it up to like a computer system, nine times out of 10, it's going to charge a little bit slower than plugging up to a wall outlet. Right here, you have the shower speaker settings, which basically just tells you to put it in Bluetooth mode by turning it on. Here are some of the options to play the pause charging port, how to change the songs. You typically press it or long press, which means hold it, or short press. They both have different commands. One will change the volume, the other one will change the song. Uh, let's see right here. Do, 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 do. This is what you have to do. Let's flip this over for the, if there's anything else. And it just shows you, here you go, one click. These are the actual button functions. So just keep that in mind when you see this. And for anyone that may have lost this and, and doesn't know how to actually resync it, just keep this in mind. Screenshot or take a picture of this video right here, that section, so you have that. Now, with that being said, you're here to actually take a look at the speaker. All right, let's see if I can get it out of the. There we go. So this right here is the actual speaker. So like I said, you have your power button right here, your play pause, this is your volume and how to change the songs, and this is what you would press to answer and hang out phone calls. Uh, on the bottom, you have your suction cup. So keep in mind, if you decide to use this, the suction cup is really to be inside of a bathroom, especially if you're in a shower or something. So IPX4 doesn't mean that it can go in water, it means that it's splash in water resistance. So again, I have a shower head, a huge shower head where it has like six or seven different functions you turn it sideways up and down and it does streams it does miss it does many different things so whatever i keep in the shower with me would definitely get wet and um let me also say that this is more so made for people that want to be able to be near water with this but keep in mind it is a five below product and i don't want you guys to sit here and just run into the ocean like it's a jbl or bose product just Temper your expectations. Don't put this in the tub with you. That, that's at least my personal advice. But I do like the way the speaker is made. It actually looks pretty nice. You know, sometimes you come across something from a company where the speaker just looks kind of cheap. This one doesn't look bad at all, in my opinion. And then on the bottom here, which I'm going to assume you pull this back. Let me see. It looks like you pull this back. Let me just double check. I might be wrong about that. Where's the... Wait, hold on. Where's the... I'm looking for the charger. So yeah, the charger piece is probably in here. See, I don't want to pull this all the way off and get it wrong. <laughs> I did that in another video and the thing came right off. Hold on, let me see if I can use my key. I'm having problems getting that piece off. Now what I will say is, 
if I'm right, I believe the charge report is underneath the rubber ducky, which would also mean that, you know, the way it's sealed right now, that's a good thing because you don't want any water splashing into it. So they, I guess they did put that in account. There we go. So yeah, USB-C is on the bottom that we see right here to be expected. And all you got to do is just close this back up. But make sure you put all the put all the grooves in properly because this actually does seal pretty nicely. I was actually surprised on that attention to detail. So I do like it. Pretty cool looking speaker. Um, they do make different ones at five below. But I figure, you know, this is <laughs> it's a duck. Quack, quack. I kind of like it. Anyway, let's go on to the next section and how to actually sync this headset. So I'm actually going to sync this to the Steam Deck. I already have the game booted up. We are looking at Death Space Remake. So with that being said, we're going to keep this to the side. We're going to put this in sync mode. So as long as it has charge in it, normally they do. You see this button right here. This is the power button right here. So you're going to hold that. All right. So it's blinking red. Now, a lot of times Bluetooth will blink red and blue. So we're going to try this two different ways. I want to see if it's already in sync mode. If it doesn't work this way, then I'm going to power it off and hold the button and see if I had to hold it a couple of seconds more to put it in sync mode, but we will double check. So place that right here, it's blinking. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the home button. We're going to go to settings. And I'm glad I'm using a Steam Deck because it's easier on the eyes because of the screen than a regular cell phone in my opinion. All right, it says available to pair Aconic ANS30. And I don't think that this is that product. Let me just double check and see no, I don't believe that that's the name of the pro. Oh, actually, you know what? It might be because this is called Fork. Oh, this is called Aconic. <laughs> I called it Forkonic. <laughs> so it is already in sync mode. It looks like this is called the Aconic ANS30. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. See what happens. Yep, it synced. We're good to go. So uh, it looks like it's trying to. Is it already connected? Yep, it's connected right now. So, to put this in perspective, I am going to turn up this Steam Deck. And I'm just going to, for the next section, I want to actually show you how it sounds. So, we're good to go. That is synced. It's that simple. Now, what I will say is, nine times out of ten, uh, in order to sync it to another device, as long as this one isn't in range or you forget it, you'll hold the power button and go through the same process. And it should automatically put it in sync mode. If for any reason it doesn't, you just hold the power button when it's powered off to power it on in a few seconds more, and then it should probably put it back into sync mode. That's the default way to do it. If anyone has a problem, um, I'm gonna have the speaker for a little while. I normally give them away for free, or I give them away to family, different people that might need things, kids, different stuff like that that might have Bluetooth devices. So let me know in the comments if you need me to show you an actual tutorial how to resync it. Let's go into the next section. All right, guys, so this is the part that we're waiting for. I am going to turn this up so you guys can hear it. All right, I'm turn it all the way up, as a matter of fact. All right, so it's all the way up. Speaker's right here. I'm going to go ahead and play. Now, keep in mind, it's connected, as you can see. Let's put that close. Hear that? That's the speaker. All right, let's see. All right, so far as keeping up with the sound, that was actually kind of surprising. This is the first time I ever synced it to a Steam Deck. I used it normally through regular Bluetooth. All right. The buttons are responsive. So what that means is the reason why I'm clicking the buttons, I want you to be able to hear the uh, sync of the voice. Some Bluetooth speakers cannot keep up with certain games or certain, uh, for you guys that aren't aware of this, some Bluetooth speakers cannot it could be synced to another Bluetooth device, but sometimes when it involves things like Call of Duty or games that have a lot of noise and latency in the background, a lot of explosions and things like that, they tend to lag in terms of sound. So you can fire a gun, but then you'll hear the bullets pew, pew, later on, a couple seconds later, and it's too late. People want something that's actually responsive, and so far the speaker's doing a pretty good job of that. So which way am I supposed to go? Here? All right. Let's see. So I'm just going to play for like a minute, and then I'll go right back to the next section. Bear with me. All right. Let's go. All right. Yeah, it sounds good. It sounds really, really good. All right. And of course, I'll let you guys know how it sounds with music and things like that too. But for right now, this is this is the purpose of me doing a video. 
Don't mind the lag. I'm actually been playing this game. Great. <laughs> oh, this game is awesome. Oh. I forgot. It's on, it's on uh, New Game Plus, so enemies can take hits. All right, sounds pretty good. Everything sounds very, very responsive. All right, so let me kind of give you a perspective on this. <laughs> and it uh, automatically disconnected because... When I actually close the Steam Deck, it disconnects and it's basically looking for something to connect to. So let me kind of put that in perspective. I think that the speaker sounds very, very good in terms of just it keeps up with whatever game that you're playing. Um, I've tried this with Call of Duty. I do have actually I can show you as a matter of fact, I'll just show you the list of games that I tried this with. I tried about four games and I'll show you the exact ones. So actually, no. Whoops. I definitely heard a monster pop out somewhere. So I tried this with Seven Days to Die. It worked pretty well, but that's a slower paced game. I needed something where stuff actually happens. Uh, Death Space, you just saw it. I did this with Elden Ring. I did this with Skyrim, but of course I have Skyrim mods, so the music is definitely different. And for licensing purposes, I'm pretty sure I can't play that because <laughs> I have the many, many mods. Right here, we have Red Evil 4. I tried it in Red Evil 3. So I will say that the speaker actually does a good job of, you know how there's a gaming mode for some headsets? This doesn't have any type of software whatsoever, but it still is able to keep up with it. I have used JBL speakers that was skip and jump, believe it or not, with a Nintendo Switch or my Steam Deck, and but the sound was superior. So just because the quality or the name brand might be better doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work flawlessly with whatever device that you sync to it. Now, in terms of music, this isn't a bass-heavy speaker. It's not something that really to write home about where you're going to replace your your uh, skull candy or anything like that. You know how I do uh, name brand speakers on this channel, but reasonably priced. It's not going to beat out anything. But what I will say is for the price tag is actually not bad. You know, honestly, the only thing this speaker is really missing is pretty much a better battery life. And granted, the only reason I say this, most people have cell phones, most people have tablets. I don't see anyone really using the phone call feature on this particular headset. It's not the best. It's not the clearest. And I got to be honest with you guys. It's not the clearest. It will work perfectly fine if you're in a shower or anything. You don't have to yell into the speaker. People will be able to hear you, but it's just not ideal. I, these are just normally speakers just to play things in. IP rated if you're in the bathroom in the shower listening to a podcast and you want to blast it a little bit louder while the shower is running or the tub or something like that. It's more so for a relaxation thing. I would never use this with this Steam Deck on a normal uh, everyday situation, but I just wanted you to show you that even without the gaming mode, it still does a pretty good job of keeping up with the sounds, no breakage, anything like that, even at 100%. So it's not a bad speaker at all. So hopefully you guys understand what I'm coming from. Because, again, I don't know if anybody online goes in depth with speakers. And personally, I'm not a connoisseur of speakers. I'm just a regular guy that buys a lot of stuff. But hopefully this section actually did help someone in making a decision whether they want to buy this for themselves or for someone else. So with that being said, let's go on to the last part. So is this guy actually worth $7? Absolutely. You saw the video. For the people that did not skip the part where I actually sync it, and go through uh, playing with the Steam Deck. I do talk about the music a little bit. Um, kind of changing the channel up on how I do reviews. Next time I'm going to do a phone syncing. And the Steam Deck syncing to give you guys a better in-depth analysis. But for right now I'm just testing the waters to see how this is. And what's easier for me. Because I do a lot of videos. And I get st not stressed out. But I do a lot of things in general outside of YouTube. So with that being said. It's definitely worth the $7. Doesn't matter what kind of speaker you get under this brand. I'm talking about this particular brand right here with this particular model. They do come in different shapes, meaning there might be a duck or you might be to get something else uh, at five below if they still have it. I believe they do. I only had the speaker for like two weeks. I reviewed it initially by using it myself off camera so that I can give you guys a better analysis. And then I synced it with the Steam Deck for the first time. Um, 
so you guys can see it. And I believe I said that earlier in this video, too, that I used it for just Bluetooth and podcasting and things like that, but not so much for gaming. You know, that's a different experience that I think a lot of people probably wonder, can it handle it? And yes, the speaker can. For seven bucks, you can't go wrong. You can give it to a kid, give it to yourself, stick it on your shower wall. You should be fine. My suggestion is keep it in the farthest part where it won't get water directly on it and high enough where it won't. In addition, you don't want to get soap or anything on the speaker. It is only IPX4 and it is iconic. So take that with, listen, it's not the highest name brand speaker. So protect yourself, obviously. And just, you know, just put stick it on the wall in the bathroom. It doesn't even have to be in the shower. It could just be on the wall where the dew goes into the wall and stuff. The speaker will be perfectly fine. You should not have any issues in that regard. But again, just be careful. But yes, it's worth $7. Anyway, like and subscribe like always, guys. And I will see y'all in the next video.